Media Teleconference, our final call of the regular season. It will continue next week on Tuesday with the coaches of our playoff teams. And this will be the final time the whole full group gets together uh, as we wrap up the regular season this week with uh, four games on the schedule. Before we begin, as usual, our normal announcements, our players of the week from this past week, week 11 in Big South football. Our co-players of the week on offense, sponsored by Choice Hotels, Austin Southern wide receiver Nathan Pereira, and Coastal Carolina quarterback Alex Ross. The defensive player of the week was Coastal Carolina defensive tackle Jabari Bothwell. Our special teams player of the week, Charleston Southern punter Truett Burns. And the Cross brand freshman of the week, Monmouth quarterback Cody Williams. Congratulations to those individuals and other highlights to pass along before we begin with our coaches. Charleston Southern has won the outright Big South Championship, finishing 6-0 in the conference games, the second team to finish 6-0 in the league. The Big South is on the national stage this week with Coastal Carolina at Liberty Thursday night on ESPN News. The current average margin of victory in Big South games uh, at 13.5 is Still the third smallest in league history. Alex Ross from Coastal Carolina became the Big South all-time leader for total offense, breaking that record this past Saturday. Presbyterian's Donnell Williams is on the cusp of 400 career tackles. He only needs seven in the season finale this weekend. The Big South has two teams ranked inside the top ten for the second straight week as Charleston Southern is number 8-9, and Coastal Carolina is number 4th in both polls. Carter Webb's Mike Estes continues to set records among Big South tight ends. He has set the season record for touchdowns by a tight end and has tied the career mark for touchdowns by a tight end, doing that this past Saturday. Coastal Carolina's D'Angelo Henderson extended his SCS record for consecutive games with a touchdown to 24 games. And uh, D'Angelo Henderson and Monmouth's LeVon Chaney are both tied for second all-time in league history for receptions by running backs. Both have 71, 408 from the mark of 75, set by Gardner-Webb's David Montgomery several years back. So those are just some news and notes to pass along as we begin with our coaches. And at this time, we'll start with the head coach of the Gardner-Webb Runner Bulldogs, Carol McCray. Good morning, Coach. Hey, Mark. How are you guys doing today? Doing fine. Hope you're doing well. Bulldogs got back on the winning track uh, last week, uh, defeating East Tennessee State 28-3. You have the home finale Saturday against uh, Kennesaw, I'm sorry, against Mama. Right. 1.30. So uh, open up, talk about the victory over ETSU, and we'll start taking questions and talk about uh, the Hawks. Well, we <clears throat> we were certainly, you know, fortunate and excited to uh, – you know, be able to win a home game against East Tennessee State, Coach Torbush, and those guys are certainly doing a good job as they head into uh, the Southern Conference, you know, down the road. So uh, it was good to play at home, you know, and, and it was uh, good to see some of our kids come up and make some plays and, and give us an opportunity to win the game, and we were very, very excited about that. I thought they were pretty businesslike and uh, got some things done, and uh, we took care of the football much better than we had in some previous weeks. I thought that helped us uh uh, a good bit, and uh, we're able to make some plays defensively and and get some drives going on offense. We were a little more consistent in the run game, which helped us. And uh, then our pass game woke up just a little bit with some young receivers and uh, Tyrell throwing some balls, you know, a few deep balls, and then some mixtures around, as you said, to Mike SD. So overall, good day. Still had plenty of, th- plenty of things that we have to correct heading into this week back into conference play. And uh, got to show some consistency and some improvement in specific areas if we want to uh, have opportunity to uh, challenge Monmouth in our last conference game uh, this coming Saturday. All right, Coach, at this time we'll start taking questions for Garner Web Head Coach Carol McCray. To ask a question, please press star 1 on your phone at any time. Or click the Q&A link at the top of your browser and click raise hand if you join us via the web. And Coach, while we wait for some questions, so talk a little bit more about Monmouth, what you've seen okay. so far, uh, and uh, your thoughts on the Hawks. Well, Coach Callahan, uh, first of all, he and his staff have a, a very dis- disciplined football team. 
you know, the kids do what the coaches ask them to do. They're very well coached. I think they're very tough, and uh, they reflect uh, that entire program up there. Uh, been very, very impressed with their young quarterback, uh, a guy that uh, throws the ball well and, and certainly has good feet. He can run with it. Uh, we knew a lot about uh, Cheney from last year. He really had a good day against us. So certainly I think they're potent, you know, offensively with a lot of skilled guys and a, and a big offensive front. I think defensively, you know, a very aggressive physical bunch. You know, they're downhill. You know, they're going to force you to make sure you know where they are and, um, you know, really got some talented linebackers and safeties that uh, – we certainly going to have to make sure that uh, we're on point knowing what we're going to do to have a chance to execute our offense against them. But uh, I think, uh, you know, got some young guys in spots, and I think Coach is doing a good job transitioning over fully, uh, you know, into the Big South. And I think they show strength each and every week. You know, they had great victories at, at home against Liberty and, and quite a few folks up there and then had opportunities against Coastal Carolina played well and and, uh, very firm last week against PC. So they've handled their business. I think it's a football team that uh, throughout the season watching them, they've improved, and that's what you want to see a football team do. Certainly that's one of our goals and our youthful spots, and I think each and every one of their players have improved throughout the year and uh, certainly will have to be on point, take care of the football, and uh, make sure that we're ready for some – you know, physical activity Saturday if we want to have a chance to, to win this ball game at home this week. And uh, talk a little bit about, you know, the, the, the challenge of carrying over the momentum from the from the nice one over ETSU into the conference finale on Saturday. Well, you know, you, you hope uh, as you head down the home stretch that you can build some momentum. And, you know, and one of the things you really want to do as a coach is, is see your football team improve and show some consistency when you get into November. And uh, that's, you know, whether you're Charleston Southern and you're preparing for representation in the playoffs to uh, the point where we are, uh, where you're trying to finish things off in November. So, uh, you know, we we really got to show some consistency in some spots. You know, we made some plays, uh, but we had mistakes that uh, shouldn't be happening this time of year. So, uh, you know, I asked the players on on Sunday, you know, to really – focus on what they needed to do, you know, take the good from the film, throw the bad away, and really challenged each and every one of them to take a step forward and improve themselves this week as individuals, which in terms I hope will improve their segment groups and pay off for our football team. So that would be our goal going into this week. And he had a nice little breakout game for freshman receiver Adonis Lee. Just talk about, you know, the type of player he is and what more we can expect from him. Well, he's a young man that, uh, you know, at the beginning of the year, uh, we <clears throat> we we started, you know, several freshman receivers, and Adonis was not one of them. Uh, as we met some injuries, you know, he, he jumped onto the field. He He's reliable in knowing what to do. Uh, he's a very mature young man for a true freshman, and uh, I think last week, we, you know, we put him in some positions where, uh, you know, he could make some plays for us, and then uh, he showed some ability in making some people miss. Uh, he's got a little bit of size. He's a pretty good blocker on the edge. And I, I do think he's a young man that uh, has shown improvement because he's taking his opportunity very, very seriously. And uh, we hope to, to continue to see improvement in, in him uh, this week uh, before we head into the off season. But very pleased with him and how he's progressed. And my final question for you, uh, senior day on Saturday, just uh, how many seniors are you going to be recognizing and obviously – Quite a few on the defensive side, and just kind of yeah. just talking about what that group has meant to uh, Gardner West football. Well, well, we'll walk a total of 14 guys out there, and, you know, we already have two of those 14 that are in graduate school. I think uh, of the other 12, six or seven of those will graduate on December the 14th, and the other young men will finish in May. So, uh, you know, having that diploma in hand is certainly a goal we have for all the young men that come into our program. And each and every one of them have received their diploma or will receive it soon. So very proud of them for that. Certainly defensively, you know, we've got a lot of old names that have been around the Big South a long time, much longer than I've been here back at Gardner-Webb, and uh, they will be sorely missed. So we're hoping that uh, they'll continue to represent the university in a, in a proud way uh, this coming Saturday. But not only that, as they finish up and go out into uh, 
back into their communities that they'll be prepared to give back to other people and, and help others from uh, the benefits they received here at our university. So it'll be a big day for us. All right. Well, Coach, I'm not seeing any other questions for you, okay. so we'll let you go. But thanks for joining us, and uh, good luck Saturday against okay. Mama. All right, Mark. Thanks a bunch. Have a good day. Bye-bye. All right.